My name is James O'Loughlin from the Chagas Heavy Siles Programme and I want to explain to you a small bit about the work that we're doing on the programme. The background to our work is that 30% of the milk pool in Ireland is, comes from heavy size or lands that, that can be classified as heavy. Uh, the reason for this is that you have very high rainfall and poor drainage on it and that results in the challenges of being able to graze the ground and to, to harvest uh, silage and to utilise the, the grassland for, for grazing. Um, what, what we have found in working with the farms is that drainage is an issue that drew us to them but the real issue that we found on them is that soil fertility has been a major challenge. That their pH, their P and K levels have been very low. We've been trying to get high levels of ryegrass because all our business is having good levels of ryegrass to feed the animals and to make appropriate silage. Farm infrastructure on heavy soils is a huge issue because to be able to, we can improve grassland, we can improve the drainage, but you must be able to access it. So when we're talking about farm infrastructure, we're talking about things like roadways, we're talking about appropriate sized paddocks, and we're, talk, we're talking uh, about good, good water structures. Drainage plan then is, part, is, is an integral part of what we're doing, and in that, what we're saying is that we must have the appropriate drainage system. And we're trying to get away from the idea that there's a one size fits all. Uh, in the past, there was a lot of systems done where, whereby uh, farms were given a, a kind of a standard drainage practice. 20 metres apart, a metre deep, put in pipe and stone, that was going to be your drainage. So site investigation is crucial and that means digging test pits to about two and a half to three metres to examine the size structure and see where the issues are then apply that drainage plan, cost it, and see does that fit into a farming system appropriate to the farmer and can it, can it make economic sense. So I suppose if we look at what has been happening on our farms over, over the period from 2011 to 2014, the first figure on the top is the margin per hectare. And I suppose the figure that we really wanted to highlight, uh, ally to that, is the grass grown. So in 2011, there was 10 tonnes of grass dry matter per hectare grown, but because of the adverse weather conditions and the less than ideal infrastructures, this went down to 6.8 in 2012, and it rose again in 2013 and was up at 11 again in 2014. So we have a lot of work, to, we have a lot of data collected, we can see that there's huge potential, and we would expect, and our target would be, that we would be able to get these farms up to 12 or 13 tonnes of grass grown consistently. Uh, the soil fertility is the final piece I'll talk to you about. In 2010, the K level was 115. In 2015, it was 119. It should be in this category to be an index three. It's okay. And this is the one where the biggest return is going to be got, and it's the slowest response. 5.6 pH in 2010, 5.7 in 2015. It's going in the right area, but we really need to be at over six for heavy soils. And this is where we're concentrating our efforts to try and get farmers to use more lime on their land. There is an understandable reluctance by farmers on heavy soils to use lime because it's associated with a softening of the ground, but the benefits in terms of the utilisation of the peas and k's and the capacity of ryegrass to grow are much outweigh that, and that's a message that we want to strongly get across. The, our final message, I suppose, on the heavy soils programme, what we've learned from it is soil fertility is crucial. We must have a, a drainage plan that is costed and is, is, makes business sense and that going, going into the future that farmers look at their land base and, and, and appraise is it worth, is it worth investing in, in improving that existing land or perhaps renting. Our suggestions are given the way things have been going in the last couple of years that it's perhaps better to make a very close examination of the home farm and see what returns can be got from that.